Hello there, this is Danny Xavier from the Product Specialist Team at Informatica Global Support. Welcome to the video on S-Trace. Agenda of this video would be to demonstrate how S-Trace utility can be used for troubleshooting issues while working with PowerCenter. Prerequisites are familiarity with PowerCenter processes like PM Server and PowerCenter email task and also availability of Informatic installed on a Linux box with S-Trace utility available on the host system. For better understanding of S-Trace tool usage and the trace that is generated from it, two different environments, one which has the problem and second which works fine is considered for this video. To start with, we have a power center email task created which works fine. Let me run the email task. I hope to get an email for the task that was run and I do get one. Let's see the problematic machine and see how do we go about troubleshooting the same. So this is the other repository where there is another email task created and I would run and expect no email to come onto the mailbox. And I'm quite certain the email has not come. So how do we go about troubleshooting this problem? In order to make progress, we'll have to go to the Linux servers and see if we can start S-Trace on those servers. The way to start S-Trace would be as follows. S trace hyphen ff hyphen tt hyphen all hyphen o the name of the log file or the S trace file and the process ID of PM server. Now this has been determined already uh, and so uh, PM PM server's process on this box is two seven six eight zero. I I would start the trace and run the email task from the machine where there is no problem to understand how it works uh, under normal circumstances. I would start and I and I and I hope to see an email coming and so I would go ahead and stop by hitting control C the S trace process the idea to stop is to reduce the trace amount the trace information generated and this is the file the trace file that is generated now we would run the same exercise for the machine where the problem was seen the trace is started and the workflow too. Here and I see a start workflow. Since I've waited for uh, almost half a minute I would consider this uh, time period good enough to stop the trace and I would say control C and so uh, go and check the trace file that is generated okay so this is the trace file that we see for the not working system and this is the trace file that we see from from the working system with the diagnostic collected we would want to know a way to navigate into the working 
trace and uh, and and um, uh, looking into the trace that has come from the problematic machine and we would say vi the the one of the good ways to start troubleshooting uh, this problem would be to search for email would, would be to search for mail and so we can see here that our mail command our mail command is primarily what is used uh, uh, behind the scenes uh, to to send an email and so it would make sense to to follow the way uh, the may our mail command is used so if if we follow the uh, the our mails occurrence in the trace file we would see that it is being the the utility called our mail is being searched on the various directories in this case uh, it's it's server bin directory and and it is uh, it is the uh, and the utility is not found and so we get this message no such file or directory so and so it would make sense to see how exactly our mail utility is is captured is 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 fetched by the command interpreter which would be sending the email it 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 goes and tries under this directory and it wouldn't find. Uh, and, and then it would go and find under the current directory it would not find and 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 so on it goes to the bin directory and finally it goes and lands at user bin r mail and it finds it there is equal to zero is a, a return code is the indication of the fact that it has found the r mail utility and then if we go it it it, it tries to do an access call on on uh, on the r mail utility and it finds the access uh, as executable okay and 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 then it goes and sees if it has read uh, and and eventually uh, it, it's it it locates that our mail is under user bin and it has the suitable executable permissions and read permissions for it to use it and so it would go and say our mail for the email id and and proceed from there sending the sending the email uh, to do the to the user now if we were to go and check this from uh, from the non-working box like before we'll have to go and check mail and we see the same our mail is being used and so it goes in searches it goes in searches under the server bin directory and it, it would not find no in this case it does in this case it does and and so let's see what happens from there onwards it does it it finds it it, it tries to check the permission of the rmail utility available under the server bin directory but it it's it, and it 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 tries to see if executable permission is is there which it doesn't and so uh it it uh, it, it it checks the read permission on the rmail uh, which is which is there and so it it doesn't help it goes ahead in search of our mail to the point till it comes to the bin if you can see here it comes to bin and it doesn't find there it 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 does it go it tries and goes uh, to the user bin where it finds our mail and it says no such file or directory now this is the point that would be of interest to us if we go and check physically for this file there under the system we see that it is indeed present there and it points to another link another file so let's go and see what's happening with that file It, it links to another one which is user bin r mail dot send mail so let's go and search what what's 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 that file look like and if you see this file is not found under the location where it's supposed to be and that is why and that is why the the r mail command on the non-working system doesn't work 
So this was a simple example to illustrate how S trace could be used to understand what happens underneath when power center uses uh, when power center email tasks are used to send command. Uh, S trace uh, is one of the tools which 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 can be very effectively used to understand the problem underneath and it is not just for our mail but for various other other problems for which S trace could be used. Hope this helps. Thank you.